It's a Friday morning here on the AM Show. My name is Benedict Tosu. We'll do some sports now and we start here on the low coast in Kumase. Asante Kota Corporation's manager George uh, Kennedy wants the current management to continue running the affairs of the club despite their inability to win this season's Ghana Premier League. Now, there are talks that owner and life patron of the club Asante Hine Otunfo said to the second will dissolve the opportunity led administration for a new set of management members to take over the affairs of the club. Judge Kennedy, who is a member of the opportunity administration, tells Joyce Force they want to continue. You see, uh, our first year in office, we had uh, doubles. That is the FA Cup and then the League Cup. And then the second, uh, the second season, we were runner-up in the League season and the runner-up in the FA Cup. And then the third season, uh, we end up at fifth position. So you can balance it yourself mm. and see the average. So means you want to put the entire administration to continue with your first Yes, that is my opinion. Mm. That is my opinion. Because we've learned a lot. And we have to maybe caress ourselves and then move forward. That is it. So that was George Kennedy. He is with Kumasi Asante Kotoko, the operations manager. will still stay on the locals in Ghana. League Clubs Association Chairman Kujo Fianu has lauded all 16 Premier League clubs for what he described as showing sportsmanship in the just ended Ghana Premier League season. Now, for Fianu, the fact that all the clubs managed to finish the season without a headline sponsor should be applauded. Let me take this opportunity to congratulate Wild Stars for winning the league for the first time. They fought for it, they've gotten it. Let me also take this opportunity to uh, congratulate the team United for also winning the FA Cup. But coming back to the league, yes, uh, we started with a lot of challenges. The biggest challenge being playing the league for the first time without sponsorship. But the club showed a lot of commitment and uh, went to the 30-week league without any hitches. And uh, we think that with a little bit of push, 2016-2017 will be a better league. But all in all, I can give the league a moderate uh, pass mark of 60-65%. Premier League is over, but administrators and coaches are still talking. And Dreams FC coach Siki Akona says he was impressed with the performance of his players in just, just ended Ghana Premier League season. Now, Dreams in their debut season managed to finish ninth with 40 points on the league log. For coach Siki Akono, his boys thrilled him with their performance. We started very well with uh, uh, drafts. Mm. We were able to, to win. I think our strategy was, was good. It gave us a chance to see uh, most of our opening, I think the first five matches. Mm. So we knew exactly what we will uh, encounter mm. uh, as far as the opponent is concerned within the five months. So we prepared very well and I think it helped us. Um, the first round was, was really good. Obviously, a lot of teams does not know us. Yeah. They don't know what we can do. And so we took the advantage to surprise them. It went very well. But in the second half, in the second half of the league, we sort of, uh, I would say, we struggle a bit, yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> because of the nature of, of, of our league. Yeah. Every time there's a curve, you know, mm. things people, <laughs> things, a lot of things happen. So, uh, but if, if I have to look back, I think there's been positives, a lot of positives, less negatives. And, and we've picked the, the positives. Uh, but the positive where some of them, one will call it negative. For instance, when we played House of Folk, and they will, for me, we won the match. You know, we had, you know, when we played Kotoko in um, Kumasi, that match was supposed to be draw. There were so many instances I can, I can, I can. And so, uh, you look at a team that, you know, just joined the pre-match, and they've done so well. So, you know, mm. and uh, the credit also goes to, to me. So that was Siki Akono, coach of Dreams FC. Now, away from the local scene, we do some international stories. And obviously, the English Premier League is back this weekend, Saturday, Sunday. There will be matches uh, in Liverpool, Manchester United, Chelsea, all the big clubs, West Ham United, and the smaller clubs, Swansea City, will all be in action. Well, uh, we do the Manchester United and Leicester City game. It's on Saturday, big one, of course, for Jose Mourinho and the man, Claudio Ranieri. Well, we can check preview of that game. 